Vrishti, I mean, to Manika's point there, what we have is a biggest economy in the world, it's got economic challenges, and people need to have jobs. It needs to reap that demographic dividend, and to do so, people need to be educated. But there are so many degrees out there, uh, and others, other things like that, which are worthless. It's a big business, it's a fraud, isn't it? Uh, Rishad, yes, it is a big business, the way uh, colleges have been mushrooming in India. And uh, not all of this is fraud. There are cases of fake degrees, but the bigger problem here is worthless degrees, degrees which are not helping you in getting a job. So we, we see colleges which are popping up in uh, small apartment buildings, in, in shops, in market areas, and a lot of students are going and getting admission in these colleges. Uh, they are getting degrees at the end of it, but what are they getting the real education are they being skilled that is the question so that is not happening we we spoke to a student who attended one of these colleges he did civil engineering from there and when he went for a job interview he was asked that how many bricks are needed to make a 10 by 10 room and he had no clue about it Naturally, he didn't get the job. So, you know, the, the quality of che teachers who are in these colleges is poor. Uh, the, the infrastructure is bad and uh, students are not really going to the college. They are getting a degree without even going to the college once. So that is the uh, root, cause of, uh, root cause of the problem here. Uh, Vrishti, hi, good morning, Menka here. Uh, you know, I want to quote from what the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson said yesterday with regards to this population issue to tie it into uh, your excellent uh, education story as well. He said, I want to tell you that population dividends don't only depend on quantity, but also on quality. Uh, you know, to, to, to sort of make highlight the gap between India and China, GDP, per capita income, the need for skilling, the need for education, and the need for this population number to work in India's favor and not against it relies very much on the very big points that your story makes regarding education and scaling. That's a very valid point, uh, Menika. That's right. China's government, after the UN released its population numbers, they said the size of population matters, but what matters more is the is the quality of workforce that you are creating. China is saying that they, the people in China have more numbers of years of education than in India. And India is still struggling to skill its workforce. It's still struggling to give quality of education. And the problem is that uh, uh, companies are looking for people. And uh, there, are, there is a workforce. Millions of people are graduating every year. And they are looking for jobs. So there is a problem on both the fronts. So India really needs to work work fast, it's running against time to address these issues. The question here is, would India get old before it gets rich?